Hello everybody, Sift here again with another Backpack Bells Run, the best inventory management auto butler out there and this game just launched. I have an early access preview version but this video is gonna go up the moment the game actually launches so we're gonna have the same access to everything and when I say everything I mean the new classes. We got new classes here. We got the Berserker which is like a crafting class with forging hammer and then we also got, you can read this if you want, and then we got also got Pyromancer which is what we're gonna play today which has flames and generates flames and in general we're gonna go full on fire build heat build that means attacks with madness let's get into this and let's try to break the game in our first run i have done another run here i broke it the first try i'm gonna try to maybe repeat something similar we're gonna see how this goes now for today's run uh, i want to mention the following uh, we want to go into full-on flame build, and let me actually tell you what this character does. Also, because this is a new version of the game, I'm gonna go a bit deeper into explaining things, as long as I remember stuff. So, Fire Pit. This thing says, when you enter the shop, you spend one gold to generate one flame. Uh, and also, start of battle, gain five max health for each fire item inside. Now, the flames are this thing, which is gain one heat at the start of battle. That is it. Nothing else, nothing more, nothing less. I would say we go with the piggy bank here, which says gain one coin uh, when you we enter the shop so it contracts the fire pit and also we're gonna get two max life for each start of battle item which are gonna be these flames which also gives us another five life in fire pit then we also have the wooden sword in case you don't know how the game works this thing is gonna fire and attack the opponents on themselves on itself every 1.4 seconds which is the cooldown it attacks spending one stamina cost which is the stamina cost and uh, then it does the damage that's it i don't think i need to explain that much more here we're gonna buy the piggy bank and i'm also gonna buy a coal because this thing burns with the fire and that's the good thing with this build uh with these yeah with this character you can get fire related items very quickly uh i would say i want to go with a pan here but honestly i know exactly what i want to do and that is create a hero sword so the shopping list should appear here and we want to get some very specific stuff and that specific stuff is uh, the following first of all let's get another bag here for room i don't have a good start here but might as well pay one coin for the garlic most likely we're gonna lose the first fight but that's okay banana is gonna be irrelevant early irrelevant later uh the garlic by the way gives us three shielding and has a chance to remove uh, vampirism from the opponents so the things we want to buy right now we're fighting a berserker which has thrown away his hammer berserker why the Berserker has a hammer weapon that they don't have inside their inventory right now. I don't know why. Uh, the fight's going on. Now, this guy has the passive that says when they drop below 50 health, they gain Battle Rage. Battle Rage gives them attack speed and reduced damage taken. So, they are in Battle Rage right mode right now. And uh, one can only hope that the specs are going to give us a win. We won, actually. First fight, we won. Let's go on and see how this goes. And I found my good old whetstone and another wooden sword. So, my build is the following. I want to get four... Uh, so, I want to get two wooden swords... And eight whetstones is the build. And then also, obviously, as many flames as possible. That's it. So we're going to buy the whetstone. And I'm also going to buy the wooden sword. That's pretty important. Let's actually make it so that we have these like here. And I want to reroll into specifically... Oh, I found a flame on the shop. That's pretty rare. And also a lump of coal. I would like to get a lump of coals. Now, the lump of coals, when they level up, as you see here, normally they give you 70% chance to deal one damage. Uh, give you shielding. Or after three seconds, gain random buff and inflict random debuff. Here it is. After five seconds, because I have it in the backpack, gain two heat and cleanse three debuffs, which is, in my opinion, a bit better. It's going to help us against uh, poison. And then on hit, 12% chance to deal more damage and gain one heat. I'm going to go with the on hit chance because that six damage is a lot right now. Uh, I will buy the flame, honestly. With the attack speed back. You know what? No, 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 no. I'm gonna force specifically whetstones early game. I didn't find a whetstone, but I found a cheap backpack. Let's go. I need to force these whetstones. We need to find eight of these. So the earlier I force them, the better. Uh, we fight the ranger, the good old ranger. But uh, right now we start with a lot more health than the opponents do because we have this five max health based on fire items. So that alone should carry us. We're out of energy. That's gonna make us lose. <laughs> that alone is gonna make us lose. And we lost. It's okay. Fair enough. Lose a life here. And we got a good old whetstone. So I'm gonna get my first hero sword. Let's also flip this. It's the same thing which of these becomes. And we found a new item of choice for from this character. Draconic Orb. This is a unique item for this character only. When I reach 15 heat, your next 5 attacks are guaranteed crits. And every 2.5 seconds, remove 1 spike from the opponent and gain 1 heat per removed spike. That's actually really good for us. Uh, do I want to get it right now? I would say no. I want still to force the common items. So let's actually go for it. I found a flame here. Mm, honestly, I think I should go for the flame. Uh, these things can go outside of the bag. The bag only cares about fire items. Or I can just go for the attack speed too. Uh, yeah, let's get the flame for a coin. Roll them. And we found another coal. I would like to buy another coal and also a good inventory spot. 
Once again, though, I want to force the whetstone. So let's actually force the build here. And I found a whetstone, so we're gonna go for that. Forcing builds in general is not uh, suggested, but uh, I want to get the build going. So I'm gonna force it, as I said, 50 times now the same word. The, the animations look a little bit cleaner. I also need mana, by the way, for the future. I know that for a fact. Look at this. We have 78 life, man. And this guy has 45. So that alone should give us a win. We have energy issues, but that's gonna get fixed late game. Let's get the trophy and let's go on. And we found an attack speed glove, which is good overall. And now I'm gonna combine the sword into a burning sword. Because that is the purpose here. Also, the burn the sword itself says weapons gain plus two damage. That's a bit irrelevant. Uh, I'm gonna go a whetstone again. Uh, obviously, we want the this here to be buffed by the plus two damage, not by the plus one. Uh, do I want attack speed? In general, yes, but I still believe that we need to force the whetstones, so we're not gonna spend anything. Well, we found a pe chili pepper. Every five seconds, gain one heat, heal for five, and when you have at least ten heat, also cleanse the debuff. We're gonna definitely buy this. This is guaranteed part of the build. And this is also food. Food items give you 10% faster activation speed for other food items around them, so these two are buffing each other. Uh, I don't need specifically this. There is also a fire whip, it seems. We're gonna go on, continue with the game. I need to find, as I said, I, right now I need five more redstones. So we're very far away from what I want to create here. We should be winning at this point. Now we have the chili pepper that is giving us heat slowly, so our attack speed is gonna go up and up and up. And also blindness is gonna go away, or any other related debuff when I hit the amount. We definitely need energy, by the way. Uh, as I said, though, we're gonna fix energy late game. That's not gonna be an issue. Now we have 10 heat, so the chili is gonna start removing debuffs, so we're not gonna be blinded anymore. And that should be a win. Also, does the chili heal us for five? I think the chili also heals us for five. Nice, we got the burning sword. So this says on hit, 60% chance to gain uh, heat. And when you get five heat, so each five heat gained, this and the adjacent weapons get plus one damage. So we're slowly cooking with gas. Uh, I'm gonna say in into a room and let's roll into redstones, please. Nice, found another redstone. So I'm gonna first create the burning blade and then I'm gonna try to get a... S Actually, no, I think I should go with two burning swords for now. Yeah, let's go with two burning swords and then the blades are gonna come later. That's what we're gonna go with. That's what I'm going with. Uh, we're gonna do this and we can remove these from in there. This is a fire item. You can go inside. And uh, yeah, I think that's good. We keep the rest as they are. Let's roll for another redstone. Didn't find one. Pretty sad. We found a good inventory space, so let's go on. This this is the most value for money inventory space in the game. That's why I'm going for it. And now we're going to get a second uh, burning sword in a moment. So every time this thing attacks, right now it gives us heat 60% of the time. You see, that's why it gets plus one, plus one, plus one. Of course, this is, uh, yeah, this is buffing only itself. That's why this does 7 to 9 damage, while this has 3 to 5. And we won. Ah, we're actually very close to losing. Uh, yeah, we won. Very nice. Very nice. Of course, we could also go with bananas, but I don't need bananas. I know what I'm going to go with. Nice, we got the hero sword. So now these things are going to be next to each other, but we're going to also do a switcheroo over here. Yep, so this actually levels up, and I would say this should be like that. Nice, because it's a fire item, therefore it gives us the buff from the fire items. In the same vein, I should also maybe put this inside of here. Yep, that's better. Uh, yeah, that's actually better because now this provides us with 5 health over the 2 health the piggy bank provides. Let's go with inventory space. I could go for another charcoal, but honestly, no. Let's actually try to get... How much is the chance for commons? 29. Very low right now. Uh, even more better inventory space. And we found boots leveled up. I'm gonna get the chili pepper, gain 1 heat, and heal 5. And when you have a lot, uh, we remove debuffs. Leather boots. Mm, yeah, they changed the animation on this. That's the only difference here. I'm not gonna take anything else. Let's go on. I'm still gonna try to force the build. I want to level this thing up, by the way. So let's maybe get one flame out. Uh, could I put this in a better way? Yeah, maybe like that. Ah, this is not a better way. Uh, you could... You know what? Let's just go like this. It's not really that bad. If things... If, if I don't get crazy heal health. So uh, now we're about to get a second hero sword, and these are two are both gonna combo. We found a berserker. This guy does actually have the forging hammer inside, and he's already half health. Uh, either they burst us down now, or we win. Uh, it's a race, it's a race. Uh, one more hit on our end. Ah, so close. So close, I think we died from poison. And now, oh, the phoenix is here. So what does the phoenix do? The phoenix does the following. First of all, it does 15 to 20 damage, which is a lot. And then, uh, on attack, we lose 10 health, so it's as if it does 5 to 10 damage. But before we die, use all our heat to reincarnate with 10 health per heat. That only happens once. Now, if I, for example, have 20 heat, this thing is gonna revive us with either 200 health or just full heal. I want to buy this because it's on sale. When things are on sale, you can always sell them back for the exact amount you bought them. So I bought it for 6, as you can see I can sell it back for 6, so if we lose a fight because of this, or if in general it's not a good item, I'm gonna just uh, throw it out, as simple as that. 
Uh, and this is a heat item. And this is also a weapon. So these two... This does not spend energy, by the way. This does not spend stamina. So now these two, whenever we get five heat in general, they're both gonna buff themselves and the adjacent ones by one. That means this gets plus two, this gets plus two, and this gets plus two because all of these buff each other all the time. That's super nice. We're also gonna go with our chili pepper so we can create even more heat. I might as well have them like this. We organize time. Uh, we don't have money again. I still... I, and now I want to find two whetstones, by the way. So now we're searching for whetstones. Although it's not as specifically forced, but the more whetstones we get, the faster this happens, the better. Let's see. We're going to also have a lot more health on the opponents, by the way. Uh, we have 139 while well, they have 120. Let's see how this goes. Once again, the moment I die, I fully heal anyway. So uh, we're not going to die. The Phoenix, I think, is going to break every single fight. Yo, we destroyed this guy. How much damage was the Phoenix doing? 21 to 26. 9 to 11. 9 to 11. Very nice. And I got one more health and a subclass. And the subclass is going to be this thing. Now, the subclass is really quickly here. You can read them, but I'm going to give you a quick insight. This is a revive. When you revive, you do damage and debuff opponents. This is you go frost build. Your fire becomes frost and frost gives buffs and whatnot. That's awesome. This here is... Uh, blinding mainly and also has to do with uh, debuffing and buffing yourself and in general it's like a buffy build uh, this here is dragons this guy finds different dragons that other characters don't have access to and the dragon eggs hatch faster which is very unique and awesome and then we got this thing friendly fire which is what i'm gonna use which says every three seconds use one mana which i don't have mana generation at all right now to gain two heat and tr this thing triggers 10 percent faster for each fire item that's adjacent to it and also when i get 20 heat we gain five luck when i get 40 heat uh, five luck by the way means 25 percent hit chance when i get 40 heat we gain 15 region which is insane and then when i hit 80 heat the opponent dies because we're gonna bomb them for 100 damage uh that's what we're gonna go with here uh, I, I lose a bit of attack speed there but this thing is wait this is connected to flames reach fire item are these not fire items oh the chili peppers are not fire items oh i did not know that okay well if they are not fire items there is no reason for them to be in there yeah this is connected to fire items mostly yeah this is good and then a flame boom another fire item and i got an chili and we got energy generation and we got whetstone insane 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 this is this is literally the god shop here 11 coins 5 plus 6 is 11 we're gonna wait for the whetstone so uh mana orb guaranteed this is item uh, whenever an item activates in these four corners we get 50 percent chance to gain one mana and that is gonna be the one mana we're gonna spend on friendly fire so you go up here you go over here, I would say. So when uh, either the friendly fire activates, that's every three seconds, or the burning sword activates, that's every 1.4 seconds, uh, we will gain mana most likely. Or I could put this here, by the way, and this here, and the phoenix should be in a different spot. Uh, I can definitely fit this. So yeah, that's more min-maxing, and the phoenix should be something like that, uh, which is not possible right now, or like this for that matter. Uh, you know what? The piggy bank is the issue. You go here, and boom, the phoenix is perfectly placed. In my opinion, I love this animation, what it looks like at least. And, uh, yeah, you know what? You can go here, and then the chili thingies can go all over the place, as they are no fire items, and I can just put them wherever I want. And we're gonna buy our chili, obviously, which should be touching that thing. Therefore, yeah, that's this is not really possible, reorganize-wise. Unless I do something like this. Uh, yeah... Most chili is touching the... This is not possible. Eh, we're okay. So this, every five seconds, we gain a heat and heal five. So we have three times healing five. Heat gives us attack speed, by the way. And actually, heat gives makes everything faster. Everything. So the more heat we have, the faster we're going to generate heat. That's the idea here. And uh, let's go. Now, we only have energy issues, which is literally one item we're missing. The moment I get that one item, we will also not have energy issues anymore. And we're already at 15 heat. Yep, look at the... They're dead. They're dead. They're gone. They are gone, man. They are gone. Six seconds and you're gone. The Phoenix is what's doing the most thing, right? Yeah, the Phoenix is doing a lot of damage. And the Phoenix... Because the Phoenix does not spend energy, we will never have an issue with the Phoenix. Ever. Okay, we find even more inventory space. And we're gonna get the... Whetstone might as well power up the Phoenix. Uh, and a flame. I would say... You know what? Let's actually bring these all to the other side of the map. Um, yeah, something like that. And the flame should go here. I definitely can reorganize this a bit better. Mm, maybe not that much better. And maybe not right now. Maybe later. Uh, we get the inventory space and roll for redstone maybe. Oh, and we found energy generation and anti-spikes. I would like to go anti-spikes for sure. And also this is, uh, I get five crits every game, so we're gonna explode opponents. Blueberry, we want that. That generates mana. And if I have 10 mana, which there is a chance I'm going to have 10 mana, it's going to start generating luck. And luck obviously is very useful for, you know, not missing. Uh, I got an energy potion, but honestly, I don't care about it. Do I still... Do I care about the points having spikes? 
Yeah, I'm gonna say yes on the anti-spikes. Right, let's go. Let's go. Okay, this is a archer with the new bow or whatever. They're not gonna survive, man. We already have 20 heat here and they already have health. If they're not a tanky build, they're gone. <laughs> we eat them and delete them. Nice, we're gonna go with anti-spikes. Uh, more max energy. Honestly, I don't care about that. Let's roll them. Uh, once again, don't care about these. Roll them. Found a new heart container item, which is an item they added last patch. So this thing says every three seconds gain one region. And when you have, and then it spends seven region once to gain 80 max health, two empower, and my healing is increased by 15%. This happens only once. Honestly, I don't really care about that. Uh, potion belt? No. Let's roll into whetstones, maybe. No. Uh, they also buffed this thing. They changed it completely. Funfair randomly gives you empower or three mana and remove two mana from the opponent or remove one stamina from the opponent. Wait a minute, isn't this busted with heat? Because it's gonna fire all the time and make the opponents not have mana. And also we gain insane... Ins or even stamina lock them. You know what? I don't even want that. I don't want to stamina lock the opponent. I want to play the game. I want to allow the opponents to actually be able to do something. Divine Potion. Uh, if you have at least 20 debuffs, consume this and cleanse 10 debuffs. Okay, that's a thing. We're gonna go with even more mana. Because the mana stone also says that if I ever hit 3D mana, we get 12 buffs. And this is a new character. So this guy should get survivability. Oh, I'm hitting him for zero. Let's see how this fight's gonna go. Yeah, he's gone. He's gone. Oh no, he got the damage resistance. Oh no, what shall we do? And they're dead. And we had 47 heat, by the way, which means that after I died, I, will, I would have healed for 470. I'm not sure if that's overhealing. Once again, I'm not really sure. If it's overhealing, it's completely busted. Blueberries for sure. So we get more mana regen. Uh, heat throw it wherever, it doesn't matter. Let's uh, roll into whetstones if possible. Inventory spaces, obviously, yes. Roll into whetstones. We found a dragon. Uh, I think the dragon can combine into a uh, mega dragon or something. Obsidian dragon, I think, is a thing. The, 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 this thing exists here, okay? Obsidian dragon, which says after 15, after you gain 15 heat, so every 15 heat gained, this gains 3 damage and triggers an extra attack. So, I think dragon is a play. But I'm gonna continue what I'm trying to get anyway, so let's roll through. For kill as a guaranteed take. Uh, we're gonna reroll for one because rerolls become expensive. I'm gonna buy this, and let's go on. This, by the way, got buffed, 7 shielding. Uh, let's actually make this better. I would say, actually, I would say, like... Uh, no, all three are connected, and here two are connected. I'm pretty sure... You know what, I think this... No, this is not better. Ah, this makes the mana faster, and these three are still all connected. But then I got a disconnect here. No, I think this is better. Let's go. Let's go, and we're gonna go to the killer next. I need one more redstone, by the way, to at least get... Oh, they get vampirism. Cute. And the spike is gone. And they got more spikes. They're gone, too. 33. Well, this is not even remotely a race, because I have the revive. Man, th these are not races. Even if they look like races, these are not races. I have phoenix. <laughs> I got another phoenix. Did I get another phoenix? Is that gonna break the game completely? Is that gonna make it so that opponents are literally unable to do anything to us? I don't want another phoenix. I want my things I, I, I mentioned. I want the things I said I want. Uh, we're gonna go with this, I would say. It should definitely hit both swords. Reorganize time. So once again, Friendly Fire gives us for one mana, two heat. And then these things have 60% chance to give us a heat on hit. This thing gives us mana regen. And if I ever hit 3D mana, which might be the case, I will gain 12 random buffs. And then we have two things that generate mana, so we always have mana. And then we also have three things that generate heat. Plus, eating away the opponent's spikes. It's insane. And if I ever die, I get all my heat into health. Yes on this. All them. And we found another mana and another chili pepper, which are both really good and powerful. I definitely want another mana for sure. I would like to put it like here, and then the phoenix goes something like this. That's what I'm thinking about. So, uh, And the chili pepper obviously joins us. It gives us heat and healing. I need one more whetstone, by the way. If I don't get the whetstone ever, it's okay. Uh, the, it, we almost have the exact same build as the one I wanted to have anyway. Uh, I just realized that the two burning swords are not touching each other, therefore they're not providing the buffs the way I would like them to. Oh no, this was almost a loss. Obviously not. Let's go with plus one health. And let's go into infinite mode. Uh, do I want the mana though? Now that I'm thinking about this, I think we're okay with mana. I think we overdid it already. Once again, I started thinking that the, the burning swords should be touching each other, so we increase our DPS by an exponential amount. Definitely chili pepper like this joins no matter what. Yeah. And uh, let's roll him. Yeah, I'm not gonna go mana, forget that. Oh, here we go. This is the... This is... We won, we won, we won. So this thing says, increased base stamina regeneration by 0.7% for each buff you have. 
So if I have 70, uh, 100 flames, I get 70% mana region from this thing. And every 5 seconds gives us 3 random buffs, the ones I have the least of. Do you know what I have the least of? Vampirism, right? Uh, spikes too, but vampirism is the main thing this thing is gonna give us. So this is obviously insane, power-wise. Uh, this also says it triggers 15% faster for each pet. This thing is a pet, and this guy is also a pet. So this should go up here. Uh, how will I reorganize these now, though? Uh, give me a sec to think about this. Reorganize time. Uh, let's first buy things, though. Oh, another mana region. Do I need this much mana? I don't think so. Another chili. We'll buy another chili. And we also buy another room. And now we reorganize time. Okay, here we go. I fit everything. Um, now, this thing is getting hit by the Torquilla, so it gets attack speed. Phoenix also gets hit by that, so uh, this gets 50% more faster attack speed, what's not. So we're gonna get a lot of mana region, everything's gonna go super crazy, super fast, and opponents are not gonna be able to do anything. To be honest, I think we're super broken. Oh no, it's a corrupted armor shield. So, oh no, they have 176. Let's, let's see how this goes. They also have a spike, which we take away 50 crit right away. Yep, spikes are gone. We are already at 40. Yeah, they're gone. They're gone, and my mana is still an issue. <laughs> but uh, now at least we have some kind of fixing it. I'm gonna go to another bag. I don't even want the uh, mana potions, by the way. Let's go into uh, the chili pepper. Another fire. Let's uh, roll them. I found another Torquilla, which, I mean, theoretically I should buy and put here, like this. Not theoretically, that's exactly what I'm gonna do. So, uh, we're gonna buy this, and we're gonna also buy this just to get a better management, inventory management style. Because I really have issues with inventory management. Do I? I could go up here and then one more here, we are two. Yeah, we're very close to getting everything done, let's go. I never found a second redstone, by the way, which I can force right now if I want to. Do I even want to? I don't think I want to. This is 40% more attack speed, by the way, and also super anti-luck. Anti-anti-luck. Oh, it's the same with us. Let's see who wins. What is this, by the way? Five items, segment, heal 10 and gain two heat. Oh, that's cool. He died. His phoenix is gone. I still have my phoenix, by the way. They're gone. <laughs> I eat their phoenix and then eat them again, and then we we, we still didn't lose my even my first phoenix, man. We destroyed this guy. What did you have as weapons? Burning sword? Burning torch and molten dagger use one heat to gain two damage and he was about to get also a molten spear or something yeah maybe chill gubert is the play five activated items heal for 10 and gain two heat obviously this combos with the chili peppers that's very obvious here uh dps wise what happened my bro what happened 112 the phoenix 223 my phoenix you didn't have the phoenix connected no you did i don't know what they're doing Destroyed them, like everybody else. Uh, we're gonna go here, and we're also gonna go here. Chili pepper, we're gonna go wherever. I think this is good, whatever. I, I don't need more mana, I, I don't need anything else. Let's just try to get... Oh, I found the Goobert. Uh, let's rotate this like that, and throw this in here. And uh, yeah, I don't need the Goobert, as I said. These can go wherever. The Goobert would just fit somewhere up there. I don't know. Let's go. One more whetstone, one more whetstone. I will show what the weapon looks like, by the way. It's not something crazy. It's just a lot better than the current one I have. Oh, this guy does a lot of damage to us. Well, we still have a lot of heat anyway. Oh, they're gone. They're gone. No longer do they do damage to us. <laughs> by the way, there is an issue here with this. And eight seconds. So let's see who can survive more than eight seconds. These are useless. Roll them. Okay, we're gonna put this in. Let's put the flame inside the deck. And now I got my flame power back. Not that that's a big difference maker. I could get random buffs very quickly. Mana, mana spikes or luck. I don't care about that though, no. Ooh, fun banana. Stamina regen and healing. Mm, I mean, it costs two, so might as well buy it. If it's cheap, why not? I don't care about the uh, vampires. I found another Vulpen Tiger. I'm gonna buy another Vulpen Tiger. And that should give us enough energy region for the rest of the game. So two mana here and one mana, one coin here. That's three. Three is what I need. And this is guaranteed enough mana for the rest of the game now. Gare, guaranteed. This does not say different pet. It just says pet. So theoretically, I can just push these away. This goes here and these all good attack speed. Yeah, everything just triggers faster and faster. Yeah, we're good. Uh, yeah, this this here, now we have two of these, and both of them give us 0 0.7 mana region each, energy region each, and then they also give us three buffs every five seconds. So, uh, we're gonna get a lot of random buffs, and also a lot of infinite mana. So, let's see how this goes. 
Oh no, this is this. Oh, look at this. It's an axe. It's a fl I'm going to read through these in a moment. Let's see if he even survives, to be honest. And my mana region is no longer an issue, as you see. Now we have infinite. Can you even play? Look at how many buffs we have. He's alive. He's alive. And he's gone. And I was only at 70 heat. Who? Oh, at 68. Yeah, 70 heat. At 80, by the way, they take 100 damage, right? Uh, this guy is the most durable yet. Good job. 12 seconds surviving here. Uh, let's see what they did. Also, let's actually see the combat log. Uh, 240 damage. It seems like I did less damage than normal. Uh, do I even have healing? I do have a bit of healing. Did they have healing? They also had a bit of healing. Okay. So, let's read what they have. Double axe. On hit, gain 2 damage. Battle rage, enter, trigger an extra attack. The damage gain is increased to 3. This had 26 to 32 damage at the end of the game. This thing had 49 to 54. These things have each 23 to 25. Uh, by the way, once again, the swords, I start believing I should just make them touch each other so all three of these get damaged, but I'm not doing that on purpose so that I can stay more in the fight. I want to milk these fights. Uh, what is this? Battle Rage lasts two seconds longer when you enter the Battle Rage against Spikes. You had that two times. Well, the Battle Rage didn't even last that long because you died. The Battle Rage in general lasts... Uh, where's the backpack of the Battle Rage? Where's the Battle Rage backpack? I can't find it. Uh, it's this thing. So this thing says for five seconds. So he made them last for nine seconds. Yeah, so it, these did not do anything because he died before that. This is the class he chose. On hit 30% chance to stun for 0 0.5. This item, this and star items gain 5% accuracy and crit chance. During battle rage, trigger 50% faster. Okay, so this is stun build pretty much. Dragon Claws. During Battle Rage, items trigger 40 percent faster. Okay. He had fanfare to take away my mana and stamina. Yeah, that, that paid off very well, I guess. Um, Stone Helm. Reduce damage by 25% for 5 seconds and gain 20 shielding. 25% chance to prevent on hit, being crit, and 25 to being stunned. So this is a better version than the normal helmet. The normal helmet is 15% for 3 seconds and no shielding, I think. And this is, I oh know, I think it's 25 for 3 seconds and no shielding. And this is uh, 25 for 5 seconds and 20 shielding and 25% and 25%. Uh, the other one is 15 and 15. What's the boot? 25% chance to resist ice. And when you enter the battle, fell, uh, when you enter battle rage, so at half health, cleanse 3 random debuffs and gain 1 um, power and 8 shielding. Uh, when you enter battle rage, gain 40 shielding. During battle rage, damage taken is reduced by 15%. Battle rage reduces the damage by 15% anyway, by the way. What is this? Deals one additional damage per empower. So this guy's an empower and everything into battle rage build. Well, they didn't survive. So um, yeah, let's uh, let's go on to the next one. Two more runs left. I need to find my heat now. Uh, the I need to find the whetstone right now. I'm gonna literally. F oh, I'm not gonna literally force because they're also gonna cost too much anyway. Another phoenix, but I'm not gonna buy that. Another Torquilla. which I will lock for the next shop. No, I'm forcing the whetstone. Yolo it. Oh, no, no, YOLO, YOLO the whetstone. I'm gonna take this because we're costing, the rules are costing a bit much. No. I found it, found it, found it. And I'm gonna buy it. So, piggy bank's gone. I have three coins. And might as well throw out one heat. Or I could throw out the... No, nah, no, nah, let's throw out one heat. Like, who cares? That's a trick, by the way. That You can throw the heats out whenever you want. There is no force into... Oh, no, you have to stick to all the heat you have on your inventory. No, you just throw them out. Uh, okay, which of these two can touch two things? You can. One here and one here. I'm not gonna lose because the blueberry isn't in its spot. Let's go. We're gonna get a new weapon. And we found another Wolpen Tiger, which is gonna be the last iron we're gonna have. <laughs> and this one. I think we're gonna have enough. Are we? Maybe not. Who knows? Who cares? Let's go. Oh, it's the same build as us, but they also have shielding. So they will survive. They start with half health because they have the Dark Lantern. Okay, I have 3d3. Boom, I'm full health. Oh, we're dying! Oh, we died! We died! Good job, good job, good job, Wallacita. Wall, uh, so this was a very, very fast and bursty fight. Very fast and bursty fight. I destroyed them, they popped the Dark Lantern, they destroyed us, and then we died twice. The Dark Lantern, by the way, makes them immune for two seconds. Yeah, that's what it was the difference maker, the fact that they were immune for two seconds. By the way, if I had a crown that says I'm immune for, if I have 10 mana, we would have won. I didn't think about this. Wow. The Lantern did 255 damage? What? Excuse me, what? And the Phoenix did 200. I mean, the Phoenix is fair, but how did the Lantern do that much? 22 to 27, 33. Lose 50% health. Before... Ah, that's that's why it, it counts as self-damage. 
Reincarnated for 50% life, become vulnerable for 2 seconds. On reincarnation, deal 10 damage for each fire item and 6 debuffs for each dark item. And I mean, they had only 4 I and 2 dark. Yeah, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Nice, nice little fight there. Uh, let's go on. And I thought we were unlosable. We thought... And I mean, we lost from the self. <laughs> we lost. And here is the new item. The Burn Blade. So this is guaranteed heat gain. This here is 60% chance to gain one heat. This is 100% chance to gain one heat. Okay, and this is every four heat gained, this weapons and adjacent ones get plus one damage. This is every five heat gained, this and adjacent gets plus one. Uh, theoretically, I should once again actually reorganize and make the burning sword touch the burning blade. That's actually doable. Yeah, let me reorganize here. Give me a second. Yeah, I mean, that's it pretty much. And I would say we buy the Wolpen Tiger, which is even more buffs and even more energy regen. Yeah, I could go for a second Phoenix, but honestly, no. I want to keep it as is. And yeah, I think this is the build. So we get a lot of everything from everything. That's pretty much the idea here. Let's swap these two. Uh, yeah, the idea is the following. We have... First of all, we have this boy that uh, gives us heat for mana use. This is spending, uh, giving us a bunch of mana. These guys both says every 5 uh, heat gain and every 4 heat gain, we gain plus 1 damage to this and the adjacent one. So these are going to buff themselves and the next ones and the Phoenix. So all of these are buffed. The, the Phoenix is going to revive us if we ever die. We've got 3 Wolf and Tigers to give us infinite energy because for each buff we have, we gain energy. So we have infinite energy because we have 3 of these. And also every 5 seconds, which is not every 5 seconds because we're a heat build, we gain 3 buffs of the one we have the least of, which is either going to be Spikes, or it's going to be vampirism or empower which all of these are insanely busted and then we have two torquillas removing the opponent's luck and also giving us a crazy attack speed and we have a bunch of chili peppers healing us cleansing us from debuffs and also giving us five health uh giving us one heat each so that is pretty much the build and the idea let's hope we're gonna get there i wanted to get two burning blades but we got only one obviously you can understand why two burning blades would have been godlike in comparison to one but yeah it is what it is and that is it uh, yeah, let's actually go and hope for the best. I'm gonna slow this speed down. Let's hope we're not gonna fight against the fire boy. Yeah, we fight against the basic, um, yeah, we fight against the basic. Steal two buffs, prioritize region. Yeah, this is only gonna steal a region from us. We're gonna play at 0 0.3 speed, at super slow. And we can also see the timer here. Yeah, this guy's already dead. We already have him at half health. They're not gonna be fast enough at stealing my event. Yeah, it's, it's over. It's over. The last fight's gonna be a boring one. It is what it is. Can't do anything about it. They're already at half health, less than half health. I'm only at 3D speed. <laughs> Look how many buffs we got. It's gone. It's gone. They're gone. So I was never able to get 80 heat. That's how busted we are. Uh, is there anything here that we would like to showcase? Honestly, I can also showcase... We, he died at 7 seconds. Uh, we can also showcase how much speed these had. 0 0.2, 2.2, 2.2, 2.54. This had 0 0.75, 0 0.66, 1.7... This had 1.1, so all of these were activating extremely fast, extremely fast activations from all of these, and I even had 11 mana, and the next time these Wolpen Tigers would have fired, I would have gained 3 Spikes, 3 Empower, and 3 Vampirism. So, completely busted, completely insane, I think this character right now is the most busted one, because Heat gives you attack speed, and having 80% more attack speed on the opponent is just insane, you just need to have some Wolpen Tigers to have no energy issues, or just don't use 2 weapons, because... If I had one less weapon, that would be that, right? We would have had enough energy to sustain everything. Uh, you can just play with dragons, right? Or phoenixes. You don't need to specifically play with... I think you need one burning blade at least, and then maybe surrounded with dragons. That would also be cool. There are so many choices here that you can actually follow. And uh, yeah, I think that's going to be it. We destroyed the game, as we always do. Now, obviously, we are still in bronze or whatever league we are because of the fact that, you know, I just got the character. So each character has their own ranking. And yeah, we're going to obviously get to diamond at some point and then we're going to be stuck there because I'm always trying to create a fun build and not really care about uh, winning in itself. So, next time we're going to definitely play this guy, the Berserker, which is very, very, very unique, this character, I would say, uh, for the fact that it's crafting, like, a lot. This is a crafting character. And uh, yeah, after that, maybe a live stream. Has the time come to make a live stream game out of this? Is, is the time for me to create that? I don't know. You guys decide. Tell me if you want to see some live streams or you prefer these. Uh, edited videos where you have, you know, circles and whatnot showcasing stuff because in the live streams, that's not a thing. Anyway, hope you guys enjoy. And as always, thanks for watching and see you guys around.